Hello. Today is Wednesday, January 24th, 2024. In this video titled, Look Out Below, Housing Market to Suffer Aggregate Price Decline by Adam Taggart at Thoughtful Money, delves into the current assessment of the US housing market. So let's get started. Overview. In the discussion on the current assessment of the US housing market, mortgage lending expert Melody Wright highlights the frozen market with multi-decade low transactions, high mortgage rates and near-record unaffordability, predicting a potential decline in aggregate prices by year-end. Emphasising the evolving narrative and challenges in the market, she focuses on the impact of rate drops in Florida, the implications of speculation and inventory dynamics, and the social and demographic implications of unaffordability. Additionally, the conversation delves into policy responses, the impact of short-term rentals and speculative investments, mortgage market trends, insurance challenges, and the attractiveness of real estate investment. Wright also predicts a potential 30% to 50% price decline in certain markets over the next several years, while discussing unconventional financing strategies, assumable mortgages, and the importance of local engagement and community investment offering a comprehensive overview of the complex dynamics and potential future scenarios in the US housing market. By providing a comprehensive overview of the complex dynamics and potential future scenarios in the US housing market, Melody Wright's insights offer valuable perspectives on the challenges and opportunities within the housing sector. Key insights from the video include current assessment of the US housing market, Melody Wright paints a concerning picture of the US housing market, which appears to be in a state of deep freeze, with transaction levels hitting lows not seen in decades. High mortgage rates and a significant unaffordability crisis contribute to this stagnation. Wright foresees a potential downturn in overall housing prices by year's end. In Florida, a state used as a barometer for the market, she notes an uptick in listings due to perceived demand. Yet mortgage applications are on the decline, signalling trouble ahead. Narrative and market optimism. Despite the market's challenges, Wright observes a budding optimism about a market rebound. However, she cautions that this optimism might be premature or overly simplistic. She urges a comprehensive view that takes into account emerging data and trends that could disrupt this positive narrative, suggesting that speculation and reality might not align. Florida housing market. Dynamics focusing on Florida, Wright identifies a curious trend. Inventory is increasing during what is usually a period of decline. She suggests that sellers might be reacting preemptively to rate drops, potentially leading to price reductions, especially in saturated markets like Lakewood Ranch. Given Florida's history of volatile market swings, its current trends could foreshadow shifts in the national housing narrative. Mortgage rates and affordability. Wright expresses doubt that even a cut in mortgage rates could significantly revive the market, given the deep-seated issues with affordability. She posits that a 5% mortgage rate might help balance the scales between renting and owning, but she stresses that price adjustments are crucial to truly address the affordability crisis. Speculation and inventory dynamics. The influence of speculation on the housing market is a focal point for Wright, who points out that while there's no shortage of housing structures, speculation has inflated prices and limited buyer options. She discusses the role of institutional investors and short-term rentals in exacerbating these trends, emphasising the need to scrutinise speculative capital's role in the market. Social implications and demographics. Wright touches on the broader social repercussions of a market where houses are increasingly out of reach, particularly for younger and older demographics. She warns of the long-term societal challenges posed by persistent unaffordability and considers demographic shifts, such as the potential release of vacant homes and their future impact on the market. Policy response to housing market issues the video suggests a dearth of serious policy initiatives to tackle the concentration of capital in the housing market. Wright points to the influence of lobbying from entities backing current politicians, which may be impeding meaningful reform. 
she calls for substantial policy interventions, with a particular eye on revising the tax code to address these market distortions. Impact of short-term rentals and speculative investments. Wright discusses the rise of short-term rentals and speculative investments, particularly in the wake of the post-COVID era, where properties were snapped up for Airbnb-style rentals. She warns of the potential for these properties to transition from profitable ventures to financial liabilities, which could trigger a wave of property sales and affect market prices. Mortgage market and delinquency trends. The conversation shifts to the mortgage market, where Wright notes a worrying uptick in delinquencies, especially among non-qualified and subprime borrowers. She draws parallels to the situation before the 2008 financial crisis suggesting that the mortgage market could be headed for trouble if current trends continue. Insurance challenges and housing affordability. The surging cost of insurance policies, especially in disaster-prone areas, is another factor affecting housing affordability. Wright discusses how these rising costs compound affordability issues and could further destabilise the market, limiting the ability of many to purchase homes. Market dynamics and real estate investment. As market conditions evolve, Wright observes a shift in investment preferences, with some investors potentially looking beyond real estate. She underscores the implications of changing market dynamics on the value of real estate as collateral and the overall attractiveness of the housing market as an investment. Housing market predictions. Wright does not mince words about the current state of the housing market, predicting a significant price correction she anticipates a drop of 30% to 50% in housing prices, particularly in markets that are currently unaffordable over the next few years, pointing to a potentially unstable future for the housing sector. Creative financing strategies. The conversation turns to creative financing strategies emerging in the market, like private note sales, which involve private lending and note purchasing. Wright explains these concepts and flags the associated risks including the possibility of foreclosure for borrowers who fall behind. Assumable mortgages and innovative solutions. Wright introduces the concept of assumable mortgages and the role of companies like Rome in facilitating property exchanges that involve these mortgages. In high interest rate environments, assumable mortgages may be particularly attractive, offering potential benefits, but also posing complexities that need careful navigation local engagement and community investment. Wright advocates for grassroots involvement, urging individuals to connect with their communities, participate in local governance and contribute to neighbourhood initiatives. She stresses the importance of local engagement as a means to influence housing and governance issues and foster stronger community bonds. Keywords include aggregate price decline, refers to an overall decrease in housing prices, indicating a potential downturn in the housing market. Speculative capital refers to investment capital allocated to assets based on the anticipation of future movements in price rather than the intrinsic value of the asset. Assumable mortgages, mortgages that can be transferred from the seller to the buyer, allowing the buyer to take over the seller's existing mortgage. Private note sales involves private lending and note purchasing, which are alternative financing strategies in the housing market. Delinquencies refers to failure to make payments on time, particularly in the context of mortgage delinquencies. Non-qualified and subprime borrowers. Borrowers who do not meet the standard qualifications for a mortgage or have a lower credit rating, respectively. Lobbying refers to the act of attempting to influence decisions made by government officials in the legislative process. Rome likely refers to a company or entity involved in facilitating property exchanges involving assumable mortgages, as mentioned in the context.